everyone! So I'm back in Sweden again, even if most of you doesn't even know that I've been away. I have actually been in Athens, in Greece, for a very short trip. And I just came home very early this morning on Thursday. So I was in Greece for a launching event with Google Arts and Culture. I guess most of you guys maybe saw my previous video, The Sound of Sweden. If you haven't seen it yet, you can find the link in the description below. But I did that film as a project for Google Arts and Culture to celebrate the European Year of Cultural Heritage. That is what the launching event was about. So I was one of seven YouTube creators from different countries in Europe that contributed with a video where we captured three different sounds that we thought represented the cultural heritage of our country. So I was invited to this event in Athens to represent Sweden. So it's been some really intense days this whole week and also the week before because I was actually pretty nervous before this event. I didn't film as much as I wish I would have done, but of course I have filmed a little and I thought I would tell you a little about this journey and what I've done and the wonderful people that I've met. So I started the whole journey on Monday morning after not sleeping anything. Because <laughs> my plane was leaving 6 in the morning from my closest city and so I had to go up like 2.30 in the night. Good morning, it's 3.30 in the morning or night. Today I'm going to Greece. So my mom followed me to the airport so she could drove back again so I didn't have to leave the car there. And I had a pretty long journey ahead of me. I had to catch three different flights that day to get to Athens. I, I don't really like flying. I'm, I'm kind of scared of flying actually. I try to avoid it as much as I can, but I still doesn't want my fear to stop me from traveling. After a long journey, I was picked up by a taxi driver on the airport in Athens. And I finally came to my hotel room, a really nice hotel in the middle of the city of Athens. I wasn't really feeling well when I came to the hotel room. I was having a really bad experience on one of the flights during the day and I was really shocked a few hours after that and felt really sad and so when I came to the hotel room I just needed to finally, you know, cry out. Um, yeah, you will see why. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. It's been a really weird day. Well, first of all, I'm just super tired. You know, traveling is, is draining, but I mean, I can take that. There's no problem. But I definitely had the worst flight of my life today. And I'm, I'm still very shocked about what happened. I feel like the whole day I have wanted to cry since that happened, but I haven't been able to because I've been traveling, you know, sitting on airplanes and hurry to the next plane. And so I just wanted to come to the hotel room so I could just, you know, call my mom and cry. <sighs> So what was happening on the airplane is that there was an old man that died. He and his wife were sitting like on the other side of me on the airplane and uh, suddenly he just loses his consciousness. The airplane staff tries to wake him up and it doesn't work so uh, they put him on the floor and you know try to rescue him with heart rescue and the lung rescue and everything. From the first second as I saw him unconscious, I just got a feeling that he's gone. So after a while his wife uh, sat beside me and I could just see how shocked she was. You know when you want to say something but you don't even know what to say and I was so shocked myself. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I just saw everything so close. I had like the first seat in the airplane so I just saw everything and Everything felt so unreal and you know this absurd situation when the plane was too late and everybody was a bit stressed out about missing the plane and I was too But a man just died. It just felt so bad taking my bag and leave I have had you know this feeling all day when I just want to cry, but I have to keep it back <sighs> 
yeah, but now I'm here, <laughs> I'm just gonna take it really easy tonight and this hotel room is lovely and I have a wonderful day to look forward to tomorrow. I have a bathtub here, <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it easy and sleep because I'm so tired and I'm sure it's gonna feel much better tomorrow. So I decided to just have a really calm evening in the hotel room. So I didn't go out in the city or anything. I just stayed at the hotel room and took it really easy. And, uh, and I had to take a bath, of course, because I had a bathtub. And I had really hoped that it w I would have a bathtub on the hotel room. I'm so happy because I so much hoped that it would be a bathtub. And it, it's a bathtub here. I'm definitely gonna take a bath. After that I just spent some time preparing for the event the next day. We the YouTube creators were gonna be in a panel talking about the cultural heritage and you know our thoughts about the films that we made and I just wanted to prepare a little bit for that. After a really good night's sleep I woke up again feeling much better than the day before. Hey everyone! So now it's another day, it's Tuesday and I'm about to leave now. I'm gonna meet up the rest of the team and the other creators and I haven't even left this room since I got here. Around two in the day I was gonna meet up with some people from the Google team and uh, the other YouTube creators where we're gonna have a lunch. I am already lost. There is so many people here in this city. And it's very warm. Thank you, Mama, for telling me to bring my sandals. I was actually so nervous for this lunch meeting, but when I finally met the other creators, I just felt so happy. So after the lunch, we all went to the venue, the cultural center, where the event with Google Arts and Culture were gonna be. And uh, wow, that building was amazing. Everything was just made up really nice. I quickly found really good friends in the other YouTube creators. So the other creators was Kostas Maliatsis from Greece, Venetia Kamara also from Greece, and Chuki Beats from Belgium and his friend Dries also from Belgium, and Charlie Danger from France, and Chris Conciers from Poland. I will write the links to their YouTube channels down in the description so you can check them out because they are really talented and amazing people, all of them. And there were lots of people coming. There were the Google Arts and Culture team, of course, and EU commissioners and ministers and the local press and lots of art students. Public, and that's when the young YouTube creator generation comes into play and they created this by themselves. When the event was finished around 10 in the evening, we all decided to get out in the city and have a drink and just have some fun. So Venetia lives in Athens, so she showed us around in the city and showed all the best places to visit. It's a cold this is so beautiful! <laughs> I just had so much fun this night. I felt so happy to be around these people. Even though we do very much different things, we still use the same platform to express ourselves. I just loved them. <laughs> what a weirdos. Who's this girl? 
filming. Now we. <laughs> what's, it, what's with the filming? Like, um, is this something typical Greek? No, what just... are you? What are you? A YouTuber? <laughs> <laughs> It was really hard to say goodbye to them because I know that many of them I will probably never meet again Even though you always say that yeah, we're gonna meet again We have to meet again, but I know that that doesn't really happen so often if not We will still keep in touch on the internet of course You do a street, I know it's incredible I know, I know. Yeah. You may now kiss <laughs> The next day I was gonna go back home again, so I was actually in Greece for only one whole day. I really, really wish I would have had one day more, cause, cause I didn't really get a chance to see anything. I didn't even see the Acropolis. Well, I saw it from a distance, but Athens is such a amazing city with so much history and cultural things to see. So I really hope I get back to Athens someday to see more of it. On Wednesday, I don't really think I filmed anything. I was really tired just just focusing on getting home, a long journey again, and I almost lost my bag in Stockholm. It was so nice to, to come home. <laughs> it's so strange because traveling gives me so much in a way, because I both fall more in love with other countries, but I also fall in love more with my home. It's like double, and the weird thing is that it was super warm in Greece, but I was so ready for autumn now, so I actually missed the cold, crispy air. So when I got home again and it was frosty outside, I was like, ah, finally, I can breathe again. <laughs> but I guess home is always the best, but I'm very, very happy to see Greece. I, I want to come back there, definitely. I was out this evening and it was just so beautiful and so silent. And it's such a big contrast to, you know, Athens and big cities. But I really love to have both parts in my life. To be able to sometimes go to a really big city and feel the heartbeat of all the things happening there and see all the people, see all the buildings and you know everything that a city has. And then I always feel so lucky to come home again to all the things I love and to the silence and to nature and to my home, to you one, to the animals. I guess that's why you always say that traveling gives you perspective and it really does, I feel that. So yeah, this is what I've been doing the last days. Thank you so much for watching and I see you soon again. Mwah.